Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel TKF Electronics. So today I have one 2.1 uh, channel home theater for repair. So we'll check the model of this is the I think Chinese made. This is the model ProVision TV 001 X bus. This 2.1 channel. So let's check it out. What's the issue in this? We'll put it on and. It's, I think it's dead. We'll check it out. So now we'll put it on now. It's on now. So it's, let's check. Actually, should be display should come over here, but there's no display. Nothing. This is the 2.1 channel, home theater Chinese made. So we'll check it out. What's the issue? In. So we'll open and step by step we'll check it out. What's the issue in this? Already dismantled the screws over here. So we'll take it out. See, let's check inside. We'll put it off first. So there is one circuit. So we'll disconnect this one. Everything. So I'll disconnect this cable. This from here. This is from power supply, and this is for the subwoofer. So we'll take it out. This one completely. And we'll check this circuit step by step. This is a circuit. So, guys, we'll check the condition of the fuse first. This one, then we'll check step by step. So, guys, we'll check now the continuity of the fuse. It should show this is the fuse. This is 3.1 ampere fuse. So, we'll check the fuse first. From the back side, see, guys, fuse is gone. See, it should show continuity, some buzzer sound. So, first, why this fuse is gone? We have to check it out first. Why this fuse is gone? So, from here, it's coming to the rectifier. This is the rectifier. So from here is going to the MOSFET, this is the MOSFET. So we'll check step by step my dear. So we'll check now. This is the fuse, this is already open. Okay. This is coming from, this is the bridge rectifier. We'll check, any, is there any shorting? There is no short. It's not showing any shorting in the bridge rectifier. See all bridge rectifiers are going showing good. No shorting anything. See there is no any short. If there is a short, it should show some buzzer. See buzzer is not shorting shorting anything. See all bridge rectifiers are good. So now we'll check from the bridge rectifiers go to the MOSFET. This is a MOSFET 3 tank. 3 lakh uh, MOSFET MOSFET is shorted made here see it showing shorting should not show see MOSFET is shorted so that's why fuse is blown off so we'll replace the MOSFET with a new one and also fuse with a new one and we'll check uh, before replacing MOSFET after replacing MOSFET we'll check other parts also as well keep watching my video so first we will remove fuse, this is the fuse, fuse is gone, then we will remove the MOSFET, slowly slowly, So we'll remove slowly slowly MOSFET also. So already disconnected. So I will remove this MOSFET. 
we have to code the MOSFET and we'll check the continuity of the MOSFET what's showing see you guys this is shorted and the number of this MOSFET is K12A60D it means 600 volt 12 ampere MOSFET this is N channel MOSFET so I don't have uh, I have the 13N60 so it can be we can use this MOSFET instead of this one so this is the number of this my new MOSFET is 13N60D so this is 613 ampere more ampere no problem but less should not be used so we'll replace this MOSFET with a faulty one and we'll replace the fuse also but this box type fuse I don't have I have the glass fuse so we'll use the glass fuse instead of box type so we'll, we'll change these two things with the new one and we'll check later on so we'll check the new MOSFET media this is the new one I, I'll show the how to check the MOSFET also this is an N channel MOSFET see this is gate drain source so I'm keeping red black prod on the drain and red prod on the source see it's showing this much see see guys no any shorting no any shorting guys see there is no any shorting so this is good MOSFET and this is the glass fuse ok this is the gone fuse faulty fuse it's not showing anything so we'll use this one so we'll change this MOSFET this is the faulty one we'll use we'll apply to we'll apply it to this one silicon gel in this I apply it to silicon gel so we'll put the silicon gel this is high temperature high temperature grease it is it is good for the heating temperature that's why everybody is putting this one tight it properly so I tight it so we now we'll fix it back we will cover this sleeve with the uh, uh, heat sleeve black color so that it will not short somewhere any any body to that um, any any high temperature body or any heat sink body I will cover this one with the heat sleeve like this so this is good so before installing new MOSFET I already fixed this one so before installing these two parts with new one one is MOSFET one is fuse we'll just check it out other components whether they are shorted or they are ok or not so otherwise if we put new one again this will also will get blow off so before you know if soldering new one just confirm it yourself that all the other parts are okay or not so i'm just checking now here this is the diode zener diode it's okay this is the register is there so it is attached with the register okay here also one diode uh, this also okay this also diode okay so guys the other parts are not showing so much uh, any shorting in this this is a transistor this is a PNP transistor here yeah, this is a PNP transistor this is also okay this is our reference voltage regulator 431 this also okay I check so there is no any shorting over here so now we'll uh, fix the new part is the fuse this one first this is a 3.5 3.15 ampere fuse okay guys we fix the fuse now we'll fix the MOSFET new MOSFET this is the N channel MOSFET we'll fix this one now 
like this so we fix the mask right now we will solder it this is the body So guys now we have already replaced faulty defective or faulty parts one is fuse one is MOSFET with the new one so now we'll put it power on and we'll check it out what is the condition clear the anything any shorting somewhere please this is better So we'll put it back now and we'll check in the box. So you guys, I have connected back now. Connectors, this is power supply. This is for the subwoofer speaker. And here is it for the display. So now we'll fix it back and check. So guys, I have already fixed it back. So now we'll check. And remember one thing, whenever you whenever you repair SMPS board or power supply board any so first check in the series so that if there is any shorting you will your lamp to a 100 watt bulb will glow very bright if it is if it didn't grow brightly or little dim only that's also okay but first whenever you are checking any power supply after repair put it on check it on series lamp okay guys so I'm putting on now Good sound is coming. See, display came. See, I will put it on. See, it's on. So, guys, so now we'll check with the audio whether audio is coming or not. Just give me some. I'll just connect the USB. I'll connect the USB. This guy is coming. coming guys See. so guys it's working so we repair the power supply See. so guys thank you very much for watching my video so guys thank you very much for watching my video I hope you like my video please if you haven't subscribed subscribe it like it share it and press press the bell button so that whenever I upload new video should get immediately noticed to you thank you take care bye bye